Time to unbox another of the items that's in the Spinny World store. The Rihio Multi Abyss Mechas of various forms are available. This one is MM002, the Defender and Construction Set. So uh, let's see what's in the box. I've cheated a little, I've taken it out of its plastic bag already because last time I did an unboxing I spent half the time getting things out of the bag. Uh, so where do we start? This has been pre-painted slightly with uh, silver and grey highlights. I'll just. Uh, You can see it there like that. That's cool. That, I don't know what it does. It looks like a mask. I presume it's going to cover over uh, one of the driver positions. These are a lot like the Gundam polycaps. They're a little bit stiffer, I think. And they're going to be clearly going to be used on joints and hinges and the like. Part A. Some nice chunky wheels, uh, chunky tyres. in Not too soft, but a bit of flex to them. So. And this is Sprue E, they look like leg parts, it's a chassis of some form. So on the side you've got a nice digger blade there, that's cool. Okay. Sprue B in metallic finish. Which, uh, Weapon bits, more arm bits, and drivers or cyborgs or something. So we look at. So we've got a whole body there, torso there. Heads. Yeah. Kind of cool, and then for the uh, the torsos, separate arms and legs for uh, posing it, which is going to be interesting. Frame D, lots more connectors. They look like claws to go on one part. And a uh, little full crane action or digger action or who knows what once I'll, I'll know once I put it put together. Frame C, nicely done, with some pre painted parts on it already. These bits here. And these look like the wheels which. Just need the tyres fitting to them. It's part of a turbine, possibly part of that. I think this matches up with the gun. I'm going to find out soon. I'm going to put it together quickly. Uh, quite shoulder and arm bits. Very cool. And whilst the box has suffered a little in transit, the only thing that's come off is that, which goes back to Sprue B. And we've got elastic tubing, which provide a flame. I don't know what it provides. So I've got plastic tubing here to link up weapons or hydraulics or who knows what. The uh, all the finish, the 
stickers rather than decals, which I may or may not use. Some of these look quite cool though. Nice metallic green finish and red finish there. Cool. And the instructions, which I shall now open and uh, I may begin building this. And here we have two finished vehicles, a digger with a crew of two and a mech with what looks like a Gatling gun, pincer arms, all sorts of stuff. And that's just following the instructions for the first two options, because if you take a look at the uh, full instructions, you've got other ways to mount the wheels, create this thing, look at that, it's a bit mad. Another alternative to mount the, uh, the mech head, torso, whichever bit you want to call it. So the idea is that you mix and match And build the one you want. For me, because I'm just wanted to charge straight in, I just built the first two options and the gun. Whereas there's all of these other variations you can have. And there's also a fair amount of stuff left over. Because I've got Another pincer arm, another standard arm. These, which are related in some way to the weapons, but I haven't worked that one out yet. Two of them. And still a few bits and pieces on the, uh, the sprues that I haven't used. Including what looks like a, a shield at the back there. Definitely a shield, yeah. And those are the uh, sections for the alternative wheels. So, whoops. 
a little bit front heavy with the uh, with the Gatling gun held like that. And the only thing I had to glue was the arm of one of these two, the drivers, which I'd snipped the uh, the lug for it a little bit too tight, and it wouldn't fit in, kept falling off. And the final thing to check. How does this compare to a gun dam? So there you go. Now nominally these are 1 60th if you take the, uh, the pilots into account. But if you built them up as alternate scale, small squat thing to go up against your Gundam or alongside your Gundam. This is the 144th GBN base Gundam that we're con comparing it to. Yeah, I like it, it's cool. Lots of options. And I think I'll probably take it apart and detail it a little bit and weather it and build more stuff and uh, work out what on earth this was meant to go on because I never found that hmm cool anyway the Rihio robots I've got a, some of them are in my shop so if you want to support this support me buy some of these various options. Also several sets of pilots in different colour schemes that you can uh, so you can actually have a, a ground crew and pilots and all of that set up as well.